When we think about pollution on our oceans and our lakes, we often now think about plastic products like bottles and bags collecting on the surface, endangering the animals that are caught up in the garbage. But these are the things that we're actually throwing away. There's also a problem at the beginning of the process before these are even created. I had a chance to speak with a U of T student who's leading a research project trying to clean up a problem that's actually existed for decades. Look at all the plastics over here. There's quite a few pellets. If you look closely, there's the little white dots that you see. You might not otherwise think twice unless you are looking for them. But those little white dots, Nicholas Choi points out, are a serious form of pollution. Seabirds ingest pellets as a representation of food. When ingesting pellets, it ends up filling up their digestive tracts and causes them to actually feel full and starve to death. They're about two to four millimeters in size. The pellets, sometimes called nurdles, are ultimately melted down to form different plastic products. While being transported, they have a tendency to leak or spill into the local environment. We know that Mimico Creek has quite a few um, plastic companies. It's not necessarily a very big watershed or a very big creek, but it has a quite a high amount of plastic companies in the watershed. Ontario is considered to be the third largest plastic manufacturing sector in North America, with a large number of companies in Etobicoke. If you're losing pellets, you're losing money off your bottom line, but um, the greater impact is on the environment and uh, plastics don't belong in the environment. Operation Clean Sweep is a program set up for the plastics industry to implement best practices to try and clean up the pellets before they can do damage. The problem, it's voluntary. And there's no indication of new provincial policy or fines for non-compliance. The Ministry of the Environment, Conservation and Parks says in addition to leading initiatives to improve recycling and reuse of plastics in Ontario, we are working with other provinces and Canada through the Canadian Council of Ministers of the Environment on a zero plastic waste strategy. In this day and age, most people look at these companies as the evil empire, the ones that are actually doing the damage and yet uh, they could be part of the solution. Since industry is the one that's releasing the microplastics into the environment, it's also a really good way for them to be able to mitigate it and integrate it into a part of their value chain as well. The push to bring industry on side is a daunting one, but Choi hopes it will eventually lead to finding fewer pellets the next time around. Back in 2007, California actually passed a law to try and keep these plastic pellets from entering their waterways. The only problem is trying to catch the companies who are responsible. Here in Toronto, we do know that 5% of the companies that have been approached about taking part in the project here have done so voluntarily. This project is actually supposed to wrap up in April, but the researchers hope it lasts beyond that.